So in this video we will talk about the periodic table and electronic configuration. So whole periodic table has been divided into main four blocks based on the electronic uh, configuration. Number one block and number two block which is uh, called alkali metal and alkaline earth metal they are all these elements from top to bottom they are called S block elements and uh, all the non-metals starting from 3rd A to 8th um, A group from top to bottom and all these non-metals and some met metalloid and mm, metals they are called P block element and all the transition element in between the metals and non-metals they are called D block elements and the lanthanides and actinides which is the separate two series they are called F block elements. So why they are called F block elements and D block elements and P block elements? Because uh, in the electron, when we write electronic configuration, the last electron or it is also called the valence electron exist or remain in the S block, S uh, orbital. That is why they are called S block. And in case of non-metal, the last or valence cell electron remain in the p orbital that is why they are called p block similarly in the transition elements the valence electron uh, goes into remain into d block that is why they are called d uh, orbital that is why they are called d block and similarly the lanthanide and actinide met in case of in these metals the valence electron remain in the F block so they are called F block elements so this whole periodic table is divided based on the valence cell and we will see what is the meaning of the valence cell in the next two slides but uh, you have to just remember that uh, based on the electronic configuration the whole periodic table is divided into four parts uh, section uh, S block, P block, D block and F block so let's see about the electronic configuration so in case of uh, for an example hydrogen hydrogen have only one atomic number it means one proton and one electron so we are writing here all these electronic configuration of the electrons so for one uh, electron we have to write only one s and one so this one is represent like a, um, a small n which is principal quantum number and a small l will represent the a small s will represent the l which is a z um, angular quantum number and number one is electron and s is also for s orbital if there is a helium have two electrons th so this will become one s two and if we want to write in this form so we'll write 1s like this one 1s and in case of uh, helium it would be 1s and there the two electrons will be in opposite direction like this one lithium 1s2 2s1 because in s orbital only two electrons can remain that is why we need another shell beryllium has four so 1s2 2s2 boron has five 1s2 2s2 2p and carbon has six electrons so 1s2 2s2 2p2 so you can see uh, in p orbitals um, the slowly you have to fill the electrons up to six electron only so after that um, we have to write another sub cell or uh, like a 1s2 2s2 2p6 and then 3s 3s for the uh, 11 number of uh, elements which have the atomic number 11 so let me uh, let's see how we write these uh, electronic configuration as and uh, what is the number comes first and how the orbitals we write so how to write read and write electronic configuration so this is electronic configuration is based on the off bow principle so off bow according to off bow principle so you have to um, use on um, you have to write like a s p d f orbital 
and then you have to make a uh, seven numbers from top to bottom one two three four five six seven eight so these seven numbers are principal quantum numbers or energy or sub energy levels so one energy level or principal quantum small n is principal quantum number one principal quantum number two principal quantum number three four five six seven like that and when we write the electronic configuration using our bow principle so we have to start first from like 1s 2 and then go back so this is just like a uh, if you are going on the mountain and then coming down so come down first and go up and then come down and then go up come down and then go up come down and then go up so you have to write like s 2s and then it will start from here 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d 4p 5s 4d 5p 6s 4f 5d 6p 7s and then 5f 6d 7p like that and if you want to write uh, all these electronic configuration in this um, C straight line so it would be like that 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d 3d 4p and 4s so like that so this line is based on the half bow principle which you have to follow this rule so let me uh, explain one more time how to write uh, this half bow principle it's very easy just you have to write like s you can see how i'm writing this s and then s p s p d in the third line in the fourth line onward s p d f s p d f s p d f and then again s p d f and then one more s p d f right so you can see one two three four four f are there and you have to give numbers like one two two three 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 four 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 five 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 six 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 seven 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 so these are the seven number of uh, energy subset energy cell or quantum number of seven this is quantum number six this is quantum this all these orbitals belong to quantum number five all these quantum number belong to number four three two and one so on and then once you will write the electronic configuration you have to start like this one one s two and each uh, s have two electrons it can accommodate only two electrons so you can write only two on each and maximum the p electron can have six electrons so you can write p on the top as a superscript and then d can accommodate only 10 electrons and f can accommodate only 14 electrons so there is only two and uh, and in this uh, configuration all the 102 or 118 electronic configuration can be written from the periodic table so it would be like this 1s2 go up and then 2s2 go up again 2p6 3s2 go up again 3s2 4 3p6 4s2 go up again 3d10 4p 5s like that one and the another simple way to write in this format in the sing simple linear fashion is like this one write s s p s p s s so here you can see s s p s p s and then d p s d p s again one more d p s f d p s and then again f d p s So you can break the whole um, this mountain like chart in this linear fashion and then you can number it and DPS and DPS and then FDPS and then FDPS so it's very easy 
वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस टू थ्री पी सिक्स फोर एस टू सो यू कैन यूज दीज दीज टू मेथड टू राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन फॉर एन एनी इलेक्ट्रॉन लाइक सपोज वी हैव टू राइट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन विच हैव एटॉमिक नंबर टेन एटॉमिक नंबर टेन एंड एटॉमिक एटॉमिक नंबर टेन इज नियॉन नियॉन हैज टेन एटॉमिक नंबर सो वी हैव टू राइट लाइक दिस वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स दैट्स इट वन एस टू टू एस टू एंड टू पी सिक्स सो यू हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर टू गो अप टू हियर एंड गो हियर एंड दैट्स इट डन यू आर डन इफ यू हैव टू राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन फॉर सम अदर एलिमेंट विच हैव एटॉमिक नंबर ट्वेंटी सो वट यू हैव टू डू वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री थ्री एस टू थ्री पी सिक्स लेट सी इफ यू हैव कंप्लीटेड टू 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 सिक्स सिक्स एटीन एंड यू हैव टू स्टॉप थ्री पी टू ओनली थ्री पी टू सो दिस विल बिकम लाइक वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस टू एंड थ्री पी सो सिक्स सिक्स ट्वेल्व थ्री पी सिक्स ना या वी हैव टू गो लिट बिट मोर एंड देन फोर एस टू सो देन सिक्स सिक्स ट्वेल्व एंड देन एट ट्वेंटी सो यू हैव टू राइट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन लाइक ट्वेंटी एंड द सेम एंड इफ यू यू कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन देन यू कैन यूज दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन यू कैन सी दिस इज अगेन फॉलो लाइक एस एस पी एस पी एस एंड एफ डी पी एस सॉरी डी पी एस डी पी एस एफ डी पी एस एफ डी पी एस सो दिस इज द वे वी राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन और वी रीड द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन सो वील सी सम अदर एग्जाम्पल्स हाउ टू राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगेशन ऑफ सम अदर एलिमेंट्स सो इन दिस स्लाइड It shows the stability of electron electron configuration. So, stability of electronic configuration exists when a S and P subcell of an elements are filled completely filled. For an example, we are talking about the right now. You can see uh, they these uh, elements are seen are helium, neon, argon, krypton, and helium, neon, argon, krypton, zinc, and iron. So, they are. This slide is. Uh, shows the electronic configuration of the eighth a group or you can say the inert gases group or very stable elements so how they are very stable and uh, why they are called inert group because for an example helium have two atomic number neon have 10 argon have 18 and krypton have 16 so helium when we write the electronic configuration of helium which is will be 1s2 and that's it for neon it will be 1s2 2s2 2p6 so you can see s and p orbitals are completely filled for neon argon 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 so once you will count the electron 2 2 4 and 4 and 6 10 10 and 12 12 and 6 18 and uh, in case of krypton uh, 1s2 2s2 2c so this is 36 electron total so you have to keep in writing the electronic configuration as i have shown here using f bow principle keep moving up to 18 number of electrons so you can count 2 2 4 and 6 10 11 12 12, 12 and 6 18 And twenty, and then ten, thirty, and then thirty-six. So, and the stability of electrons. So these are very stable electronic configuration. Why? Because their s and p subcell of an element elements are completely filled. And if you see the last subcell, which is two s and two p, they have total eight electrons. They have total eight electrons. in case of neon 3s2 3p6 they also have eight electrons 
so usually if they have in their outer shell like 4s and 4p they also have together 8 electron so they this is called their octet is complete it means they have very electron stable electronic configuration another <coughs> the two terms are important they are called the valence cell and the valence electron <coughs> the outermost cell electrons are farthest farthest from the nucleus and therefore the most weakly held valence electron so this is va valence shell means like the if you if they have only three shell so the last cell is called the valence cell and the electrons exist in the last cell the electrons in the valence cell are called the gain are gain and lost fast because the attraction from the nucleus is the least on the outer shell of the uh, electronic config atom so these the last shell is called the valence cell and the electrons on the last cell is called valence electron so we'll see um, one more the electronic uh, terminology which is called electronic properties so there are two types of electronic properties paramagnetic and diamagnetic so the tendency of any species with unpaired of electron to be attained by an internal magnetic field and diamagnetic means the tendency of a species not to be attached or to be slightly repelled by a magnetic field as a result of electron being paired so in case of if the if electrons are unpaired like uh, suppose at the end in case of any 3s1 like 3s1 so if this is the case so unpaired electron if any elements which have unpaired electron that elements behave or have uh, paramagnetic properties which attract towards the electron uh, external magnetic field but if uh, the outer shells are completely filled or they have completely filled orbitals and all the electrons are paired they do not attract in between the uh, by the magnetic field so that is why they are called diamagnetic so this is the difference between the paramagnetic and diamagnetic so we'll see uh, some more uh, little bit about the tendencies uh, periodic table trend how the electronic configuration occur in the periodic table trends in the other videos <coughs>